Ken Molay here with a tip from the library. I often get asked what's the best day, time, and duration for a webinar. There really isn't a single answer that works for everyone. You'll need to do some experimentation to see what your audiences respond best to. If you're trying to reach global audiences, you'll just have to cross-check business hours in the desired countries and see what compromise lets you reach as many people as possible. You'll never cover the entire world in one live webinar, so make plans for multiple events if that's your goal. If you're trying to reach people within a limited range of time zones, such as a webinar for North America or for Europe, stay away from the edges of the business day. You don't want to start a webinar right as people are getting to the office or as they're trying to leave. I haven't seen any evidence that lunchtime webinars are a problem. Some companies even make this a feature, advertising a virtual lunch and learn session. Monday is the worst day for webinar attendance. Don't schedule webinars anytime Monday or on Friday afternoons. But I was surprised to see in one survey that many salespeople preferred Friday morning webinars. Uh, they often had downtime without a lot of customer visits then. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are definitely the most popular days. And the differences in performance between those are so small that I wouldn't worry about picking one of the days over the other two. If you're trying to reach consumer audiences at home, all bets are off. There's no single time that works against all the different personal lifestyles and schedules out there. Honestly, you're better off recording a video that people can watch on demand. As far as duration, I usually recommend a minimum of 30 minutes and a maximum of 90 minutes for a live webinar. After that, people get antsy and they can't pay attention to their computer screen anymore. Uh, 60 minutes has become the default webinar length in the business world. We're all used to it. But I'm fond of trying 45-minute webinars. People know that they'll have time to prepare for their next meeting on the hour. And even if you go over your schedule a little bit, you still fit within that magic hour block on the Outlook calendar. If you're moving through my recordings in order, you can go on to Tips for Presenters and Moderators by clicking here. Or you can scan the index page for other topics. Thanks for watching.